Hey guys, Malcolm Moore here, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how having a slightly more open stance can create a more powerful position for you when you're trying to do some real aggressive, hard carving. All right, let's get into it. So let's have a little look at what this position is before we get into how it's really gonna help you. My body is turned out to about 15 or 20 degrees, or if you wanna imagine about the ang angle of your front foot. And by creating this open position, you can see my back knee here on my toe edge is much more bent. It allows me to drive a bit more pressure through to the back of the board. And it's the back of the board that really drives around these powerful calves. So just get used to first riding in this slightly open position, shoulders turned out about 15, 20 degrees, facing down the slope and just rocking from one edge to another. Woo. So when we're carving, we're putting a lot of pressure through the board. You know, when we really lean into these turns to bend that board into reverse camber, it's putting so much force through the board, it wants to just skip out and skid away. So for us to be able to hold on to it, for us to be able to balance and ride on that edge, we need to be in the strongest possible position. And this slightly more open position that I'm in now is how we get there. Woo! Just look at that view, by the way. It is beautiful. So, the stance we teach most beginners and that we ride in most of the time, like this, where we have everything in line with the board. You know, this is good because it allows us to be ready for anything. If we hit a bump, if we hit a patch of ice, we are in this nice stacked position and we can quickly react to it, you know. I can go whichever way I want and do what I need. And also, you might be able to see my front knee moving a little bit here. But being in this inline stacked position, I can really use my front leg to pull the board around like this and make this shorter, tighter turns. But let me get over here. Woo. When we're carving, we don't necessarily need our front knee to pull us into the turn because we're gonna rely on the side cut of the board, that natural arc we have in the board. We're gonna rely on that to pull us around the turn. So I don't need to pull that knee and swing the board around in a skid. But what I do need is a lot of power through my back leg because when we're carving, when we're really trying to get that board to grip on its edge, we're using much more the middle and the back of the board. So I wanna center as much weight there as possible. So just by opening my stance up, going from this closed position to this more open position, it really, woo, allows me to drive through that back leg. If you take a look at both of my knees on my toe edge in a second, let's come round, you'll see how much lower my back knee is towards the snow. Because I don't need the front of that board, I can just power through with my back leg. And if we take a look on my heels, coming around, really tense up through my core. It's like you're about to take a punch in the gut. And again, that just puts you in this strong position. But let me get into it. 
where you can really drive the board into the snow Whoa. and really get it to grip and pull you round. Whew. Man, it is hella good fun. So like I just said, your standard stance, that's good for most of your riding. But when you really want to get that power and that drive through the back of the board and you want to put that board on as much of an edge angle as possible, to be able to hold that edge angle, to not skid out, for that board to grip and pull you around in a tight arc, you need to be in the strongest position possible and we're going to achieve that just by opening our shoulders a little bit. Now, it's not huge, it's about the angle of your front foot, so sort of 15 to 20 degrees. Don't be turning a full 90, that's going to put you in a really weak position. But as you see, as I turn, so if I rock forward onto my toe edge, by just opening my shoulders, I can angulate my body. Now, angulation is a term skiers use all the time. They're always looking to achieve loads of angulation to give them grip as they come around the turn. And it's the same with snowboarding. But for us to really achieve high levels of angulation, that is putting the board on an edge and keeping my shoulders back in line here, I need to open up my hips twist my shoulders in the direction I'm going. If I stay in my closed stance here, oh, already even balancing here feels a little bit weaker. It doesn't feel very good. But by keeping the shoulders open, you see that back knee, it really drives into the snow. You can get it down there. Yeah, I'm still keeping the straight line from my knees up through my upper body, which is what we want. So we're driving all our weight down into that edge. Okay, so that's your toe edge position. Shoulder turned open slightly. Really think about pushing your back knee down towards the snow. That's gonna give you lots of grip at the back end of your board where you need it. As you come through the edge change, you just pull the hips back across the board and you keep your shoulders open at this angle. And now, like I said earlier, you've gotta be really strong through the core. You know, imagine someone's gonna punch you in the gut. It's this kind of position, and once again, it's going to drive lots of pressure through your back foot, and really, it's going to allow the board to grip and come around in a tight arc. Okay, so this isn't really one where we slowly build up to it. You're just going to open that stance up, have a play with it, and see if you can feel the results. It's not going to happen straight away, but give this a go, and you'll feel it when you get it right. That board is really going to whip you around to make you feel like riding after. Okay, so let's have a play with these movements. Before we lose the sun, it's just dipping behind the mountain. And I'm gonna talk you through some of the things that I'm feeling as I'm doing these turns to help you kind of really visualize these turns. And you can even practice them at home, do these movements at home, so that when you get out on the slope, you can get straight into it. All right, let's go. First things, we need a little bit of speed. Okay. Oh, yes. So the first thing I'm feeling, as I'm coming round on my toe edge, think of dipping this back arm, this left arm, down towards the edge of your board. So toe edge, left shoulder, left arm, pull it down, and it's the opposite on the heel edge. Pull this right arm down. You can see my shoulders, if I drew a line between my shoulders, it's almost doing the opposite of what the board's doing. And it's like the line of my shoulders is trying to be parallel to the angle of the slope. Woo! Man, it's good fun. Dip the left arm, dip the right arm. So obviously before you guys try this, you want to be able to carve reasonably well. And you know, if you're struggling with that, have a look at this video here. That's gonna help you out with some of the basics. But for those of you that are looking to really try and crank those tight arcs, you know, when you're trying to get down low to the snow, when you see people dragging their hands in the snow, or you wanna to get towards those Euro calves, adopting this slightly more open stance, that's what's gonna get you there. Okay, so have fun with it. Let me know how you get on in the comments down below. I'm gonna finish off with a few more turns and I'll see you guys next time. Ooh, that. that 
that was getting icy at the end there. So ideally you want good conditions and also you want to try and have some edges on your board. Take it in for a service. That is going to help as well. Both things that I probably should have done. <laughs>